YouTubers, Bald Rhino back with another incredible PSA reveal. I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I ate about 250,000 milk duds. That was my preferred candy. After the paper route, I would go and spin. I'd actually probably get a donut at Winchell's, but then I would stock up on milk duds if I ever had any additional money. So, um, the wasted days of youth, you know, now everybody makes, uh, TikTok shorts. Uh, my generation was delivering papers at 5.30, so it's quite a different world now. But anyway, I wanted to show some amazing things that I, I, I just love these cards so much. This is, in 1971, um, Milk Duds put out on the cartons pictures of very significant major league players and um, they are incredibly hard to find in high grade as well as just in decent shape in fact if you research these cards uh, some of them will be hand cut but others will have the giant PSA holder and just the carton itself without it being cut you'll see both and I have uh, unfortunately um, bought the cartons cut them and then received like a four so i really don't know how to cut them properly so i've resorted to buying them i don't like them in the big uh, original carton because the slabs are just too big but it does remind me of the old days which is really really fun uh, this is the brooks robinson in a psa six and then you got the really exciting back which you would expect uh, oftentimes you'll see some uh, residue from the candy depending on how hot they got um, but again really just fun cars at least for me I mean um, I wish that I knew at this time in my life that if I <laughs> if I had just taken care of them holy moly right uh, so here's uh, this is uh, how it often works um, so if you'll see here if the new PSA holder this is Orlando Cepeda, so I think this is actually in a lot better shape, but sometimes, and I don't know, maybe one of uh, the, the Elite Co. 3 or the guys that submit a lot of cards know how to hand cut them properly, but more often than not, I, you know who, who knows this? I bet it's, uh, well, I can't remember his name right now. He has the collection of all time on the internet. But when you cut this, uh, oftentimes you always get authentic unless you cut it right. There is a way to cut it. So... Oh, I can't remember his name, but that's, um, he has a great collection. Here is, uh, Tony Perez, big red machine, hand cut. I can't remember which one of these I submitted. I, this might be it. I don't know. Um, but you know, five, not great, but not bad. The law center. Here is, uh, Bob Gibson. Just, I love that card. See, here, this is how inconsistent they are. Look at the, off, I mean, the Perez is off center for sure compared to the Gibson, but they're both fives. All right. Went to a fireworks display, Coors last night. Man, it's unbelievable how they turned out all the stops. I hope you're enjoying your July 4th. So it's still a holiday we can celebrate. Um, 71 Milk Duds here. Again, we got the Hank Aaron. This is a pretty significant card, really, because it's a it's a near mint to mint eight. Um, yeah, I cannot tell the difference between any of these cards, but man, I'm glad to have this one. It's a, really a special card. The one that I wish that got away was the Pete Rose. I probably had 40 boxes as a kid with Pete Rose because I was kind of a big red machine lunatic. <clears throat> Here is um, Willie Mays. Now, I, I've been trying to get Willie Mays because he's getting up there in age and um, is 
and has always been probably one of the best players living, probably top two or three. And this is a PSA 8, but it's in a very old holder. I don't think it would grade anywhere near an 8 now. Um, Dave, I can't remember his now Dave on the internet. He has an amazing collection, but he he knows how to cut these properly so that they get a good grade. And then the one that I like the most is this Clemente. 71 Milk Dud Clemente. This is a PSA 6. Um, just a fantastic picture of Roberto Clemente. And, um, man, and it's in the new holder. You know, I do try to target the new holder because I know now that um, the grading standards have changed so significantly. So I know for a fact that this one with the new, this is a damn good grade with the new grading standards and should hold its value particularly versus a older slab. Um, I mean, you can see on the internet, um, I've been tracking some Nolan Ryan uh, rookie cards and in the older slab, I mean, there's like a 10% difference or more in how they sell new versus old slab. Um, so yeah, look at this beauty. God, I love that card. Okay, and then the last one that might be the most surprising to you, the most valuable one, uh, it's largely, I think, because it's his rookie year. Um, uh, well, right around his rookie year is the Thurman Munson low pop. All these cards are low pop, but a lot of people wouldn't buy them. Um, is the PSA six? Well, I hope you enjoyed this short little video, a little something special, oddball cards kind of a thing. Have a great Fourth of July. Take care of yourselves.